welcome to part two of clearing areas. So in part one, we talked about what our dog was telling us. Part two, we're gonna talk about what is the search area telling us. If I'm in a search area and there's a sunny window, I will try to position my dog between the sunny window and anything that they could search. So I use that to help me to understand how to clear the area. Because of that, because of all the clutter, you're gonna get trapped odor. And because of this very random type of behavior, all right, it's very nonspecific. You're not getting that epicenter that we talked about in part one. You're not getting that epicenter. It, I, it's telling me that this is trapped odor. And the entire locker room area was blank. Okay. That locker room, because it was very um, complicated, you had all of these hazmat suits and everything that area had the potential for sucking up all of your time and not giving you enough time to solve the other areas. 